So you've signed up to receive a platelet-rich plasma injection. And you may be wondering, how do you prepare for the procedure? I'm gonna break it down in this video. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sonam here. I'm an interventional sport medicine doctor practicing in Canada. And today I'm gonna break down my pre-procedure PRP instructions. If you guys like these pre and post procedure videos, please leave a little emoji thumbs up down below. It really helps um, to allow me to know that you like this information and so that this video can reach people who need it. Platelet rich plasma or PRP is being used with increasing popularity in the sport medicine world. And we are using it to treat a multitude of disorders. And I'm gonna leave a list up here, but essentially we're using it for anything from joint disorders like arthritis to tendonitis to rotator cuff tears. In summary, for those of you who don't know, PRP is where we take your blood, we spin it in a centrifuge, and we extract the platelet-rich plasma part of that blood and inject it into areas that we are trying to treat. It is a form of natural regenerative medicine, and because of that, it is being used more and more in the sport medicine orthopedics field. So I spent a long time counseling my patients on both pre and post procedure instructions when performing a PRP injection. And the reason why is it is so important for patients to know what to come prepared with, but what to expect after the injection. Before we go into the pre-procedure instructions, I want to go over who cannot have this procedure. So number one, those who are pregnant or breastfeeding because there's no safety data to the baby. Number two, those with active malignant cancers, because we don't want to take that blood, spin it down and seed it to different areas of the body. Number three, those that are on blood thinners. So think a Pixaban, Warfarin, because that affects the platelet and blood function. And essentially we need that function to provide the effects with PRP. And number four, those with bleeding disorders. Because if you have a bleeding disorder, it is likely that the platelets and the red blood cells are not functioning appropriately. So we won't be able to proceed with the procedure. Before we do the PRP injection, what are some things to consider? Number one, medications to stop. So it is very important to stop all forms of anti-inflammatory medication one to two weeks pre-injection. The reason why is anti-inflammatories can both affect platelet function, but also the inflammatory cascade. And the way PRP works is we want to cause an inflammatory reaction. So if we take an anti-inflammatory, we completely reverse and mitigate that effect. So in summary, no anti-inflammatories a few weeks before the injection. Number two, activity post-injection. So it's really important to clear your schedule for the first three to four days after the injection, as it is not uncommon to experience more pain for the first one to two weeks, depending on the area that we inject. Now I'm gonna go over this in more detail in my post PRP aftercare video. Number three, the morning of the procedure. So it is very important to make sure you eat a big meal and drink a ton of water before you come in. And this is primarily for two reasons. The first being it makes it easier to draw your blood because the veins actually have some extra fluid in there. And the second is that it reduces your risk of fainting. I cannot recall how many times I've had people come in fasted and it was nearly impossible to take their blood or they felt faint and irritated after the procedure. It did get better after I gave them a small little orange juice box, but it's really important to kind of be aware of this because it makes your experience a lot better. Number four, bring a buddy. So while depending on the area that I inject, many people can actually drive themselves home because we're taking blood, because it's such a, you know, such a long procedure, it can be a bit painful. Many people enjoy having that emotional support there or a little driver coming with them so that they don't have to worry about any of that stuff. They have a driver going home and they have someone to kind of care for them after the injection. So do consider bringing either a friend or family member along because it just makes the procedure sometimes a bit more tolerable and enjoyable. That wraps up my pre-procedure instructions for a PRP injection. Please be sure to follow the advice of your physician as these are just some general recommendations. PRP is becoming much more increasingly used mainly because it is natural, it is regenerative in some cases, and patients are starting to learn more and more about it. About it. I'm gonna put some details down in the description so that you can learn a bit more about PRP and what we use it for. Overall, I see a pretty good effect in my patient population and approximately 70 to 80% of people do note some improvement depending on the indication that I use it for. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and check out some more aftercare and pre and post care videos that I've done up above. For now, that's all.